Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to talk about something that Coimbatur Krishna Rao Prahlad has said us. According to him, poor people are not the same, they are not similar, they are not akin. But he has actually highlighted two different types of categories, two different types of poor people in the world. And he has called them complacent poor and aspirant poor. Complacent poor are those who are satisfied. Complacency means satisfaction. If the poor person is satisfied with his monetary condition, social status, his paddling vegetable or pulling rickshaws, or doing the labor work in the market, or working as a laborer in any kind of factory. And he doesn't want to change. He has no any kind of desire to be rich. He don't have any kind of aspiration, no reason, no dream. But whatever he is, whatever the milieu and the ambience he, co he exists with other people, coexists with all the poor people. He doesn't have any kind of dream to become rich, dream to come out of this kind of poverty and step into riches. He has nothing and he doesn't want anything. This kind of poor, according to Sikha Prahlad, are known as complacent poor. They are satisfied poor. All their life, they wanted one rickshaw. They got it. They wrote down Maki Duase, and they, they are happy with it. They are they think like they have won the parliament's seat. These kind of people are known as complacent poor. Complacent poor are not only threat for themselves that they don't actually make any kind of progress for themselves, but they are a threat for the national economy too. If all of us, 140 crore people in India would have been complacent poor like we were 50 years ago, then still India would have been the same poor, destitute nation. Desire is something that makes you different. Desire makes you different. You don't actually make yourself different. It is your desire that makes you different. If you desire, that is what they say, visualization equals to actualization. If you have a reason to be a doctor, then and then you can become a doctor. If you have a reason like Narendra Modi to be Prime Minister of India, then and then you can become the Prime Minister of India. If you have a reason like I had to go to America, though I was a peddler, I was pushing a regly, a car, when I was in college. I was selling crockery in Kalvachok. But I never had a reason to remain a regly puller or a peddler, crockery peddler. But I wanted to go to America to get best of the best education and become so rich that my posterity is must have never to worry about any kind of needs. And I did it because I had a dream. I had this kind of reason. So if you have a reason, and if you are visionary, then and then you can achieve whatever you reason in your life. It is the dream is your driving force. Nothing is driving force. Money is not your driving force. There are lots of people with money, but they don't do anything at all. They keep the money stuck in the bank, and whatever the interest they derive, they can survive on that. They pull their life on interest. Dream is your driving force. And these kind of people, known as complacent poor by C.K. Prahlad, a defining name in the field of economics, has said that complacent poor does not want to be anything but poor. They're very happy, they're complacent, they're contented, they don't have any kind of complaint, any kind of grievance, nothing. Absolutely happy, absolutely satisfied, absolutely complacent with poverty, with 
all kinds of lacking in life, lackluster life, lackluster food, lackluster home, lackluster clothes, lackluster family, lackluster education. These are the kind of people who are dumb, dumb type of people, or we can say dim weight people, or numb nut type of people whose brain kind of dies function. It doesn't function properly. They don't think about the future, they don't think about their life, they have no dream, they don't want to be anything, they don't want to achieve any progress, they don't want to promote themselves, they don't want to promote their families, their kids. They don't have any dream, they don't have any vision. And visualization equals to actualization. If you have vision, then you are going to get whatever you want. It is a vision, which is our formidable driving force for our future. Complacent poor. Now we are going to talk about aspirant poor. Aspirant poor are totally opposite to, just opposite to complacent poor. They don't want to stay poor. They don't want to they don't want to stay the way they are. They don't like poverty. They don't like lackluster life. They don't like lacking of every single thing. They don't like deficient life. They want to achieve every single thing. Like Dhirubhai Ambani. Once he was working in Middle East and making few hundred rupees in as soon as. He collected and saved 10,000 Indian rupees. He came to India and he started Vimo. So, these kind of people, or you can take another example of Jamshed Jitata. He had also 10,000. Recent example is also that, I uh, forgot the name of the person, they, five, six people got together and 10,000 each. Ah, Narayan Murthy. They all had 10,000. Five or six people got together and they started this company in partnership, and today they are all billionaires. So these were poor, but not complacent poor. They were all aspirant poor. They had vision, they had ambition, they had dream, they had they had fire in their stomach. They have wings of fire, like Abul Kalam has said, and they wanted to touch the sky. They wanted to fly, touch the sky. They did not want to stay put on the planet Earth. They did not want to live on the surface, but they want to rise above the surface of the planet Earth. So today, millions of examples you can find. Bill Gates, for example. Bill Gates was not born with a silver spoon in his mouth. I, myself, I was very poor. I did not have anything. I was pulling the lolly. I was rekdi wala. Until I became the principal over here in the best English school, I was doing the same thing. And, and dreaming about going to America and make ample amount of money. Did not have any kind of dream or any kind of satisfaction or complacency to stay a rekdi puller. No. I was a peddler, but I was a peddler for a short period of time because I, I had nobody to support my family. So I got myself educated and at the same time took care of my family. Nothing wrong with that. You should be ashamed of stealing and the corruption and the bribe and all kinds of negative things doing to the nation and doing to the society. You have to be ashamed of yourself by being Vijay Malia or Nirav Modi, but being a Lariwala or being a Rikshawala, you have nothing to be ashamed of. But then again, if you stay at Lariwala and stay at Rikshawala, then there is something to be ashamed of, but not as much as stealing the money. But if you are aspirant poor, then you are like, for example, biggest example I can give you is our own jurist, the best jurist of India, Baba Sahib. Ambedkar, he had nothing. Another best example I can give you, Abul Kalam. He became the rocket scientist. He became the president of India. And he, he was a newspaper peddler. 
one of my most diligent students. Most of them are in a foreign country. They were not rich at all. They had a problem paying me the fee. At that time, my fee was 150 rupees per month. And they did not have money, ample amount of money, 150 rupees to pay me on time. Father would come and get me some extra time or get me waiver. He would come and tell me very politely that I'm going to pay you the fee within a couple of months altogether, this, that, and all that. I never had problem with money because I returned from America at that time. I never bothered them. I never, you know, put them in any kind of precarious condition. And I did not tell them, no, no, if you don't have money, then don't send your son. No. These, these people are in foreign country. There's a guy named Karia who is in Australia today, and he has about 20, 25 stores. And he was not able to pay me the 150 rupees fee. There's another student over there in Canada. He's a doctor. And he was a newspaper peddler. I told him, and I even offered him, I said, don't worry, Idris. His name is Idris. God bless all of them. I said, don't worry about me. Just get, keep getting education. That is the most important thing, to get education. There's a Kumar Ramchandani, coming from the very poor family, but firing student, firing with loss of ambition. I said, don't worry about fee. If you give me the fee, I'm not going to say no. And if you don't give fee, I'm not going to bother you. I'm not going to embarrass you in front of my other student. Today, he's a bank manager. He got his MBA from BK Ahmedabad. And he is called 25 in GSET. So these are the kind of students who are all like me, like, just like me. So when these kind of students come in front of me, they will always remind reminded me about my days of yore, my past. So money doesn't actually drive you to the apogee, but your dream drives you to apogee. If you are poor, then don't be complacent poor. Don't be complacent poor, then you are going to remain poor. Your posterity is also going to remain poor. Your progeny is also going to remain poor. But God forbid, if we are poor, then be aspirant poor. God is going to definitely help us every, every step of our way. If we are aspirant poor, if we study very hard, if we earn very hard, if we work diligently, if we do both the things simultaneously, make little money for our family. At the same time, rest of the time we can spend in education. Education doesn't need 12 hours time. If we invest six to eight hours time in education, that's more than enough. Six hours of time you can invest in earning something. So you can do both the things simultaneously. If there is a will, there is a way. And if, if will is there to be a doctor, to go to America, to go to Canada, to be a big tycoon in business. By God, you can become whatever you want to become, but you have to first become aspirant poor, not complacent poor. Thank you very much for listening. That's all the time we have. Tomorrow we are going to pick up some of the subject and the talk. Until then, God bless all of us on this planet. Bye.